Good morning. Let's do us a little project this morning. Got rain coming in. Uh, I do not feel well. I was leaning over the boat a couple days ago and leaning over like that and I popped a rib. I don't know if I broke it, separated it, but it is really, really aggravating. So I can't do too, too much, too heavy. I can't lift nothing, it makes it hurt. I have done that before, so. Anyway, still gotta do something before we get back into making some knives. This is a mount screws down on the boat. Rod holder screws down in there. You gotta wing nut the tightens against it. Uh, I ripped one of mine off on the last catfishing trip. And it wasn't like this. It was a homemade one. But it wasn't quite like I wanted. So, got some aluminum here. And I'm not going to make the triangle shape. It'll be square, which will be fine. I'm going to cut a piece of this off. Actually, two pieces and put it together to come up with the same thickness. It has to be a little bit thicker so we can tap our hole in here. Now the only way I can find to buy these is buy the whole new mounts. And normally Walmart has them. Uh, the whole mount for like $3. And this comes with it. But they don't have any. And online they are much higher than that so no sense in spending money on something that, that I can do myself all right we'll get us a couple of lines drawn on here and I'll go over to the metal cutting saw Cut them off. Then I'll screw these two together. Then we'll mark the holes. And uh, tap us a thread in there. And we will have a mount that didn't cost anything. Just a little bit of time. Cut these out and we'll be right back. All right, this one is 0.45. These two put together are 0 0.50, half inch. So uh, that'll work out just about right. Now in the end, I'll grind it smooth. So what we need is we're going to put us a screw here and screw there. That'll hold these two pieces of metal together. And then when it screws down to the deck, it ain't going nowhere anyway. And that way we can tap all the way through. Like that. Now, let's get it, uh, might have to make them flat to start with. Put it in the little vise and go to the drill press and drill us a couple of holes. And we have some stainless screws that will be just fine to hold these together then when that's done we'll come back and make our hole pattern for this and it's starting to rain so it'll get noisy in here in a minute all right got it clamped up in the drill vise let's go over and drill our holes now i'm not going to run back and forth 
with the camera showing you how to drill a hole. Y'all know how to do that. So uh, we'll drill it and we'll countersink it on the top side. Then we'll come back and lay out these holes after we get it put together. All right, got our holes drilled and countersunk. That's the wrong ones. There we go. These little stainless screws here, I think they'll work. We'll see. Nope. Well, these are not self-tapping, so... Let's see. All right, what we're going to do is take a one size bigger drill bit. Because it don't have to be a lot to uh, just to stick these together. Hang on, let's do that. All right, found some self-tapping screws. Should be long enough. I took the countersink down a little bit deeper. Not that it really matters. But... There we go. If that's going to work. Yep, that'll work. Right, let's go over to the sander and flatten these out. Then we can get our hole pattern put in. These are not as critical because these will be pretty good sized. Goodness. A little simple project. <laughs> there we go. Hang on, I'm bumbling around over here. Now, we're going to put that like this. And see, so get out our transfer punches. Find the right size. Now even this is not really critical. Want to make it look like something. holes like that this one that is 3 8 thread so I have to look up what size bit that goes for that now you machinist guys know have all that kind of stuff memorized. Right, right there. That's roughly the center. There. Now we're just going to put a little dot where I can see it better. All right, we got something going on here. Let's uh, let's 
Oh, that one was there, not there. There we go. Anyway, now I'm going to fasten it down to the deck with these stainless uh, screws here. So we need to drill three holes, countersink, and then we'll drill that one and tap the threads. All right, let's tap this hole. Now this is a very old tap that I've had forever. It's a three eighths. Probably not the proper oil, but it works. I have a Harbor Freight set of taps, taps and dies, that are all but useless. These were out of a very old set that I had. That there's only two or three left, but I don't do enough tapping and all that kind of stuff to justify getting a good set because them things were very expensive. What little bit I do, this works just fine. It's just coming through the bottom. I want to go all the way through. I know it may not be exactly center and all that, but it doesn't matter for what we're doing here. Should do it right there. Now this is the rod holder that's going in there. If I can find this video, I'll link it to where I made these. What it does, it screws down in there. Like this. Then it'll hit the bottom, actually hit the deck. And then you tighten down this wing nut here. And you got a solid mount. Like that. All right, now, I'm going to take it over to the sander, just dress up the edges, knock these sharp corners off, so I don't get my foot hung on them. I see so many people that fish in boats barefooted, I don't see how they do it. And those croc shoes are a big thing, I can't wear those either, well, the, that's just me. <laughs> Now, dress up these edges like I said. These screws will go all the way through and mount to the deck. They're really tight, which is good. You don't want it slopping around in there. Then, we'll take it out, put it on the boat. We'll be done. Not going to paint it. We'll leave it aluminum. So, uh... That is that. All right, let's get this fastened down to the deck of the boat. There's another one on the other side. We'll put it about in line. I've got two, there'll be two in the front and two in the back. And I don't see no need for any more than that, really. 
it's hard enough to fish one pole at a time, much less five or six. So uh, depends on where the boat's sitting in the water. Might need it that side, might need it this side. Trolling for trout fishing, one on either side. That is one time where I use two rods. So we'll put this here. Now this deck underneath here is wood, three quarter plywood. like that. Now if a fish pulls that loose, we need a bigger boat. <laughs> now these don't stay on there all the time. Just when we set up for bottom fishing, cat fishing, anchored up, something like that. That's when I use these. Or trolling. like that rod sits in there and that's it all that aggravation and I saved myself three dollars so. <laughs> now I'm going to reinstall the other one in the back the one I had off to uh, reference and be all done All right, put this back in storage box and that'll do it thank y'all so much for watching thank you for uh, putting up with me bumbling around with this thing like I said I don't feel really well but uh everything will get better now we've got thunderstorms coming just about time to go in and sit in the reclining chair thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all next time <coughs> oh one more thing we made it this long uh, we've had a lot of new subscribers lately thank y'all very much for subscribing we're trying to make the 5,000 mark i think i looked last night we're 68 away so uh, thank y'all very much for that. Let's hit 5,000 and see what happens. And uh, we'll just keep going, doing what I do. Thank y'all, and I'll see you next time.